Hi everyone, I'm back. Woo! Sorry for not uploading anything recently, um, but I'm back with a review. Hooray! Um, recently I rebought the Montmartre Two Seasons watercolor set. There's 18 tubes, and they're about 12 mil each. Um, the colors in the set are titanium white, flesh tint, light yellow, fast light yellow, light green, light blue, lavender. Pink, orange red, brilliant red, burgundy, gold, silver, olive green, cobalt blue, purple, burnt sienna, and ivory black. Um, originally I rebought this set quite a while ago. Um, I didn't understand how to use watercolors properly, and now that I do, I really wanted to give this set another try. Uh, they're they're not as bad as I thought they were. <laughs> um, there are there are a few downsides to this set. Um, I'm just gonna say now probably the colors and um, just the quality of the paint. The paint's pretty good. Like you can get some really nice effects like that. Both of those were done with this set. Um, and then this is the video. This is the picture that you're gonna see being painted in the video. So the paint quality is pretty good, but it's just how it sort of behaves, I guess. Um, one thing I know that this paint doesn't like is to, uh, well it might just be me, it probably is just me, other people might have found it a bit easier, but um, it doesn't really like to be re-wet, so I think this set is probably best used from the tube, so if you want to use some, you squirt some out and use that paint. Um, you don't just let it sit and dry and then reuse it like what I did. It was really, really difficult to get the pig, the, like the amount of pigment that I wanted and sort of needed to use. It was really hard and actually quite frustrating. <laughs> um, I used the set again last night for just a little image, and I found myself getting quite frustrated at the lack of pigment that I was picking up, but it's a cheap set, it's not anything expensive. I think all up it was about $14 Australian, so it's pretty cheap, and it's supposed to be cheap. Um, but I would actually recommend this set to anyone that is actually trying out watercolours. While those are pretty much the only downsides that I found, that um, it just doesn't like to be re wet, and quite possibly some of the colours, but that would all be personal preference. Um, for me, the pet peeve is sort of just the ivory black in it. Like, I really wanted a grey, but that's just me. Um, so, the colours the, the colors aren't that bad. Um, to be honest, apart from wanting to actually try the set again, I really, really wanted to get my hands on some pastel watercolour paint without spending too much money. Uh, the sort of pastel sets that we could get, oh, the pastel tubes that I can get in Tasmania are from oh, the, the Holbein ones, and it's about twelve dollar, uh, sorry, fourteen dollars a tube, and it was like fourteen dollar, fourteen dollars to get this set. So I really wanted to test out the pastels, and I could justify it that way, I think. Anyway, so the colours aren't that bad, but I would have liked to see some other colours in there. But again, like they're they're actually fine. It's just me being a bit more nitpicky than I probably should be. Um, I can't actually remember the colours that I used in this piece. I can't, and that's kind of irritating. There's some of the obvious ones, like um, his skin. Uh. For the base, I used the flesh tint, and I think I used maybe some orange um, or some purple. I I'm pretty sure with the shadows, I had used a bit of purple, and I mean his, his hair's a bit obvious. It was um, I used the ivory black, but I I think I mixed in a bit of blue with it. I think I mixed in a bit of the cobalt, cobalt, um, but I can't remember. I probably should have taken some notes, but 
uh, unfortunately most of the image is just a lot of brown and red. So it's quite boring. I tried to liven it up by putting a bit more blue in it, but it, it just didn't really help. Um, if you are actually in Australia and you are looking to start trying watercolours, I would actually recommend this set. Um, give it a better go than I did and get proper watercolour paper. Um, Montmartre actually sells their own paper. Please, please don't buy it. It is terrible paper. I buy it for my son because it's cheap and it can kind of handle the water. But I would not recommend the paper for it. Um, get a decent quality paper. Um, like the paper that I'm actually using um, in this video is a drawer and ink and draw stuff. So it's it's multimedia paper. Oh, multimedia. The it's mixed media paper. Sorry. Um, it can handle the water reasonably well. Um, and the paint, but I I do actually recommend for anyone in Australia that wants to try watercolors to get this set. Just be patient, take your time with it, don't get frustrated. Um, it's it's a perfect learning set. This is a set that I should have learnt with instead of going out and buying the Cotman set that I've got. But Cotman is still pretty good. I do actually prefer my Cotman set, but this is go away magic. Sorry, cat. This is a good set to begin with. Um, so I guess that's my review. Um, I hope it was alright. Um, I'm really sorry it's taken me this long to get a video out and even sorry this one's about a day late from what I was intending to do. Magic! Shoo! Sorry! <laughs> Giant cat! Um, so uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more videos, um, please subscribe. Um, I post a lot of stuff on social media. Um, so I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye!